Hey guys, so for this video today I'm going to be doing a giveaway unboxing that I actually won recently. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with the YouTuber Lauren May Beauty, but she is a YouTuber that does a lot of beauty related stuff from reviews to tutorials. And recently she had an, a giveaway for W7 brand. Now this brand is typically found in England, but we do see some of their stuff here like in like TJ Maxx, Marshalls. It's more stuff that they don't really sell over there that they just ship over here. So the stuff that we actually won, um, it was about six giveaway winners. Uh, it was stuff from England, so it's stuff that we really don't see over here, which I'm really excited to to have won. Um, and the prize came in this little like makeup case, and this is also from W7. And so when you open it up, I was really surprised because I thought it would be a few stuff, but it's actually really full in here. And it's all this stuff inside. So this is everything just from the brand W7, that way I don't have to keep saying it throughout the video. You know what brand it is. So I'm going to be going through the stuff that I basically won in this giveaway, and then I'm going to be doing a tutorial after with all the stuff in here. That's why I have no makeup on today, um, for the beginning of this video at least. So to start off, I got this Metal Flash Trio Metallic Glitter Eyeliner. This is what it looks like. It has three colors inside. It has like a grayish, a silver, and then this is a duochrome. So it goes between green to purple, yellowish, and they are all little eyeliners. Now this I haven't opened yet. Many of the stuff inside I really haven't opened yet, um, nor have I used just to wait until I filmed a video. And so this is what it looks like inside. It does have these three little eyeliners. That's what they are. Let me actually check out the one of these. If they're big or if they're little small ones. So it's small ones like for detail really. Alrighty, that's the first item. And then I have the Glitter Flash Lash Brow Hair Top Coat. And these are two. I'm not too familiar with what these do exactly. Um, I'll have to do a little bit more research on these. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of excited to try this stuff so far. There's a lot of glitter going on here, as you can tell. Even the box itself was in a glittery thing. Um, then I got the Glitter Pop Glitter Liquid Lip Color. So this is a really nice red shade. That's what it looks like. It's almost like a wine color. I don't know if you guys can see it there. But it does go, it's, I would also call it kind of duochrome because it goes between red like nice nice red to a pinkish color so that's what it looks like on my hand I'll probably end up using this in the tutorial then I have some lip masks I've been running out so that's actually really convenient the timing um, and there's four lip gloss, lip masks here um, these are in the shade Beauty Sleep Berry uh, Very Dreamy Vanilla Good Night Grapefruit and then All Night Apple. So what I like already so far is that there's so many variations in this box. Stuff that I've, like I said, I've never gotten before just because they don't sell this stuff here. Um, then there are two eyeliners. Now, the cool thing about this is that one side is a stamp and one side is just a regular eyeliner. So the side that's a stamp example, this one is the Love Line Eyeliner. And when you stamp it, it's actually in the shape of a heart on one side. And then the other side is just a regular eyeliner felt tip. So that's really nice. And then the bigger one is the same thing. But this one is a little triangle for one side. So just to get like the perfect wing cat eye effect, I guess. Now this one was the best one, the other two were kind of rough. Um, and then the other side is just a bulkier felt tip pen like the other one. So, But this one is also at the same time more fine so you can make like smaller lines as well. There's a lot of eye stuff in here, I can already tell. Uh, then I got some, these are lip twister, what are these, let's see, lip twister, these look like, yeah, lip liners. So there are four shades, but to me they look really similar. So there's Nude Dude, uh, Rust, Champagne, and Very Nude. So those are the four shades that I got. They look very same to me. Uh, then there are some Press to Impress Glitter Palettes. So these are for the eyes. 
should be. This is All the Rage and Style Icon. Those are the colors inside. But it looks like there's one more in here as well. So there is one more. This is the In Vogue little palette. They all have four little shades inside. This is the Shimmer Highlighter and Eyeshadow um, Glow Commotion. So that's what it looks like. Let me open it. That's what it is. If I can open that. These have like a lot of tape on them. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. It's just a really simple little um, <laughs> little highlighter. Let's see if you guys could see it. It's not really visible when you put it on the skin, but I know it's there. It, you guys can see it kind of. It's right there. There are a lot of lip glosses here, that's for sure. There's a total of seven lip glosses. Um, there's more pinks than anything. There's four pinks, then like a peachy color, and then a reddish color. Now these are Glamorous Gloss. The shades, it doesn't really say the shades. No, it has no shade name, but it does have numbers on the bottom. So the example is I got number one, two, three, okay, all the way from one to six. So those are the shades that I got. Then there are some Light Up and Glow All Night Dual Chrome, Dual Chrome Loose Powders. There are four of these. So let's see, there's a whitish color. Um, so this is the shade On Air. You're not going to really be able to tell off there, but that's On Air. Then there's also No Vacancy. This is like a peachy color almost inside. Then there's Soho times three. It's like a violety color. And then open 24-7. This one's almost like a um, almost like a tannish skin tone color. So next I'm gonna pull out some blushes. There's a total of four blushes that came in the box. The, this is the packaging for it. Um, the other one I actually already unboxed box so it's just a white cover um, but the shades that I have here are Bear Blossom, Happy Honey, and Maple Mist. These are all just different types of blushes. Um, one is more for a darker skin tone and the other ones seem to be for a lighter skin tone. These are Vern Vegan. They are vegan and paraben free and as it says it's made from London imported from England and when I open this one up this is the shade uh, Sugar Sugar and it's a nice little pink color. I imagine that, that'll look good. And then after that, there was um, also a highlighting powder inside of this packaging as well, but I left that box at home. So this is what it looks like inside. This is Nature's Glow. So it looks like most other highlighters that you see around. It actually kind of matches the eyeshadow highlighter that they sent. I don't know if you guys could see, but it looks very, very similar. I wonder if it's the same on the actual skin. Yeah, they look honestly super identical when I put it on the skin too, so it's right there. And then we're almost done. There's only four items left, and these are little eyeshadow palettes. So the first one I'm going to pull out is called Life's a Peach. This is, oh, this is a cheek, cheek and face palette. So this is the packaging. So with W7, if you guys have seen them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, you'll notice that most of their color schemes are similar to the ones that we already know, like from Urban Decay Naked Heat or just the Naked line in general. There are some Too Faced palettes that they mimic. Also some Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes that they do mimic. So this one to me reminds me of the Naked Heat palette. Um, and when you open it up, it has, it looks to be three blushes in the middle, and then two highlighters on the end. I'm not really going to swatch these. I don't like to swatch new um, palettes, whether it be face or eyeshadow palettes. I like to just do that when I'm going to use them the first time. So that's how it looks like on the inside. And then going on to the eyeshadow palette, there's this Life's of Peach eyeshadow palette, the sweetest of peaches. This is a pressed pigment palette, and they do make sure to say that right on the top. So with pressed pigment, um, eyeshadow palettes, it does tend to leave a stain. I'm not sure if this is going to have the same effect as most pressed pigments, but I'll see when I test it out. When I open it up, that's how it looks like on the inside. The colors are nice. They're not something that I really have 
yeah, um, there's a lot of warm tones over here. These are more cool tone colors, and then a nice little purple there. It does come with its own little brush, which is really nice to have. That way you don't really have to carry anything extra, and it also does come with a mirror. That's the first one. Then there is On the Rocks Neutrals on Ice Eye Color Palette. So this is what I mean by it does duplicate some of the other eyeshadow palettes that we do know. So this is kind of a, a well, it's super similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. You can tell the color layout is the same. Um, it does come with its own brush again and its own mirror, so that's going to be fun to play with. And then last but not least, there is the W7 Romance Neutrals in Love. And this one I really like. Um, so this reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glow Palette. I actually have that one at home, but I haven't used it yet. So it's going to be fun to compare and contrast between these two. I might make a separate video for that one too, between this one and On the Rocks. Just to show you the difference between quality or longevity of it. You never know. So this does have 14 eyeshadow colors. Um, there are five glitters and the rest are matte on the palette. Okay, and that seems to be all that I've got in this little wonderful compartment contraption thing. Um, and yeah, uh, so make sure to check out Lauren May Beauty. She's really good. She's a very honest YouTuber in the sense that she really doesn't do any sponsors or anything. This is was this one was actually her first sponsor and the reason that she did it is because she has tried all of their products in depth so I really trust her judgment when it comes to recommending stuff and hope you guys like the beginning part of this video now I'm gonna jump into the tutorial part I'm going to go and start off with my foundation probably my brows and I'm not sure what else I'll be missing um, just because the rest is really lips and eyes stuff that I have here so I really want to get the foundation on first so I will be right back alrighty guys so I have my foundation down and a little bit of concealer on the eyelid so I can prime it for the eyeshadows that I'm about to use um, so I'm going to start off with uh, I think I'm just gonna go with both of the Life's of Peach palettes, both the face and the eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to dip into this, uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with my much loved Real Techniques double crease brush. As you can tell, I use it a lot. I should probably clean that, but not today. Um, so I'm going to dip into the Press Pigment palette. And I'm going to first set my eyes with this color over here, which Looks a little bit too dark, but that's the only one similar to skin tone that I can find. And that's in the shade Delicious. And I'm going to put that all over my eyelids. Now I will say that the colors, although they don't look too dark on the actual pan, um, at least this one, Delicious, is really pigmented. Um, it's much darker than I thought it would be. But I still like it. I think it's a pretty good transition shade. Okay, so that's um, delicious on the eyes. Now I'm going to go in with the color, uh, let's see, Golden Nectar, which is right underneath the purpley color here. I'm going to go in with this and just pat that all over the eyelid. Um, I'm not really sure what kind of look I'll be doing, so we'll see at the end. So that's the golden nectar color. Uh, I'm going to go in with the color It's Tasty. No, uh, never mind. With the color Nice and Fruity over here, I thought I'd be using this purpley, but that, I don't think that's going to mix well. So I'll be using this color here. And for that, I'm going to grab a different brush. This is the Luxie 249 brush. Um, you'll see a lot of people have this. We actually got this in a boxy charm, and it's a really, really good um, quality eyeshadow brush. So I'm going to be grabbing that color and just focusing that on the outer corner of the eye. Okay, that's what it's going to look like. Um, I want to define the outer crease, so I'm going to go in with Sweet Stock over here. It's like a dark brownish kind of color, and I'm going to focus that yet again on the outer corner of the eye. Okay, 
So I feel like I took a little bit of that golden nectar color away, so I'm going to go back in with that color and just pat that yet again on the middle of my eye. Okay, just like that. And now I'm going to go in with the color, uh, it's between white flesh or cream. This is white flesh, this is cream. Um, I think I'll go in with cream. And just grab it with my finger and put that on the inner corner of my eye. Let's see if it picks up. It actually did pick up, that's actually really good. And the texture of these eyeshadows is so soft, I was really surprised. Okay, and that's how the eyeshadow is going to end up looking, or it did for me. Um, I'm going to try to clean up a little bit of the edges here after, but next I'm going to go in with the eyeliner. I'm going to actually use the iFly eyeliner. Um, I'm going to try to use the stamp, let's see if it works. It'll be my first time using a stamp. So we're going to grab it and just put it on the outer part of the eye here. Like this. No. Oh no. <laughs> and I'm going to try to mimic the same thing on the other uh, side. I don't like it. Okay, no. Uh, never mind. <laughs> this looks better on the hand than on the actual eye. So I'm going to go in with the other side. And I'm going to try to even that out to make it all black instead of splotchy. I will say though, the side that the felt tip side is really, really good. It glided on really easily. That's what it looks like on one eye. Um, I actually really like the quality of this eyeliner. I'm kind of surprised. It's really easy to work with. It's just the the width of this is a little bit too too fat. So it's not too comfortable to grab. But now I'm going to go into the other side. Okay, there's the eyeliner on. Uh, I don't know if you guys could tell, but it was so much easier to do this one than the other one. My brows are a mess. Oh my gosh. So that's that for the eye liner. I'm going to go in with this shimmer eye highlighter eyeshadow, the one that I compared before. And I'm going to just put that on the top of my eyebrows. And I'm actually going to add some to the actual eyeshadow on the inner corner. It's something subtle, but I know it's there. So I'm going to move on to the lips now. Um, for the lips, I don't know what this color. I look too dark. Um, I don't know which lip gloss to use either. Maybe a pinky lip gloss. Although this is too pink. Do do do. Decisions, decisions. All right, here. Let's keep focusing on the face instead, and then when the lips come, I'll make that life decision. So I'm going to go in with the Southern Flame blush here. I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheek. Oh, I don't know if you guys could see it, but I see it clearly on the, in the mirror. It's actually a really nice color. That's what it looks like. I actually really like that color. It's nice. It's not too, too dramatic. It's kind of subtle. And now I'm going to go in with the... Is that highlighter. I think it's a highlighter. No, it says five shades of blush, so I'm not going to go use that as a highlighter. I'll get a highlighter instead. Uh, I'm going to use the highlighting powder by Vern Vegan W7 and just put that on the tops of my cheeks here. I'm surprised at how clearly you can see it there. I actually, I really like that one. Okay, so I'm, I have to decide on a lip color now. Um, it's not as easy as you would think. I'm going to go in with this peachy color here. This is shade six. Let me open it up. 
I have to see if it actually is pigmented though, so. I think it's really just a top coat, like a lip gloss top coat. You guys can't really see it. Um, I'll try it though, and if I don't like it, I'll just take it off and go in with that purpley reddish color that I opened first. It's nice, it's a nice um, texture. It's not really sticky. Yeah, not really that sticky. I hate lip glosses that stick to your hair so quickly. But this one's actually really nice. I don't really feel it on. Didn't really have a smell to it. It's very nice in the sense that it's very light, but it does have that nice shine to it. So that's what it looks like with that lip gloss on. But I think I want to try the actual red. So I'm just going to layer this on top of that one. I'm not sure if that's going to work, but we're going to see. That's dark. Um... Okay, too late to take it back. So that's what it looks like with this lip gloss or liquid glitter liquid lip color on so it does go between red and almost purplish color although as far as I can see all you guys can see is purple on the screen but I actually I really like the color again it's not sticky um, well, a little bit stickier than the actual lip gloss doesn't really stain the teeth it dried pretty quickly I actually really like it so yeah that's it for the little tutorial regarding this W7 products that I got from the giveaway. Um, I'm going to do a quick glance over everything so you guys can see um, it all together basically. And I hope you guys like this video. I will see you in the next one.